This video will walk you through using NetBeans with Test My Code service. I've just finished installing NetBeans with TMC. It may present you a login dialog on startup. If it doesn't, you can type in your account details in the menu bar. Click TMC settings. You can type in your username and password here. Make sure the server address and the current course are correct. You can check the proper values from the example form on our website. Uncheck these sec checkboxes as you wish. Select your preferred error message language. It's probably English if you're watching this video, but you may want Finnish error messages as well. Click OK once you're done. Let me will present you a selection of assignments to download. There are quite many of them, so I'm downloading all of them at once may take some time. So you can just select a few to download. The first assignment is Sandbox. It, it's not a real exercise, so you don't need to download it if you don't want. This list does not include assignments you've already completed. I've already completed assignments 1 and 2, so they don't show up in here. Let's load, download the, these. For the sake of demonstration, I want to download completed assignments as well, so I'll click TMC, download all completed exercises, and wait for a while. So we see the two assignments I've already completed, so clicking download will get me the exercises from the TMC server. Okay. You can see all the assignments in the project window on the left. The ones I've completed already are marked with the green dot, the others have a black dot. Clicking left of the project will open the project. Inside the project is source packages, inside source packages is a default package, and inside the default package is the java file we will be writing our code to. Double clicking it will open the file. Ok, here we see the java file we will be coding to. For the sake of demonstration, let's complete the first two assignments. The first assignment is name. Let's go to the course website to see how we complete the first assignment. Week 1. We scroll down until we find it. The exercise 1 name. Clicking on the orange bar will open the exercise. Create a program that prints your name to the screen. Okay. Back to NetBeans. Let's print my name Kalleviri System dot out dot print Alan Kalleviri. Okay. Now let's see how NetBeans and TMC work. By clicking the box with the green arrow, you can run the program. It may ask you to set the main class. In these cases you usually just have to click OK. As you can see we got some compiler output. The bit we printed out ourselves is below run. It's my name Kalleviri. OK, it seems to work fine. It prints out my name as requested. Next we have the TMC buttons. The button with the I runs tests locally. And the button with a white box with an orange arrow pointing upwards. Submit code to the server. Let's start with local tests. We get information on whether our tests passed or failed. In this case, my tests passed. I can submit to server. However, you only get the option to submit the code to the server if all tests passed. Some assignments have multiple sub-assignments, so you may need to submit code to the server even if all tests don't pass to get points from the sub-assignments if you haven't completed the entire exercise. Okay. Let's see the second assignment, Hello World. 
twitter.java Briefing for the assignment can be found on the website, similar to the last one. Create a program that prints out the following Hello World and all the people of the world. Now let's run tests locally to see what happens. Oh boy, we get an error. First line wrong. We expected hello world, but we had a hello world with a capital W. Okay. So this is what happens when your tests fail. In these cases, just fix the code and try again. Okay, we get another error message. We had the second line wrong as well. It wants, as we can see in the example output here, it wants a capital A. You should also run the program without the tests every now and then to see if it works properly by your own eye. Okay, the output looks good, so we can run the tests again. Oh yeah, I still have an exclamation mark here. Let's cut it out. As you can see, the tests can be very, very, very precise on what they want. Okay. Let's run the tests locally. All tests passed and we can submit code to the server. Very well. One more thing. You can view the model solution by clicking on the button here. It will open on your default browser, you will need to log in if you haven't done so already. Use the same account details as you used to log into the TMC server in NetBeans. And here we see the model solution, quite alike what I did just there. Okay, this concludes our walkthrough on using NetBeans with TMC. Happy hacking!